Hi guys, in this video we're going to create a complete Mailster email campaign including a form, a list, email message, and thank you pages. So let's jump right in. Okay, and you can see our all-in-one system uses Mailster for our email marketing. The first thing we have to do, if we're going to give it away via email, we have to set up our autoresponder campaign. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go right here to newsletter. This is Mailster. <coughs> and we're going to go to we have to create a list and a form first so the first thing let's do let's create a list and we'll name this list let's see let me get rid of that right there okay list add new we'll call this uh ebook we'll call it ebook and let's go up here and click save okay now let's create a form for our ebook we have our list now now let's create a form <coughs> okay we'll go to form add new and we'll put uh get instant access okay let's click save <clears throat> okay now let's design our form and you can see right here enter your best email get in instant access we can change that so our global colors when we hit label color you can see the label changing colors right here so let's just keep it black for now I can always come back and change it input text color I want that to be black and background color is fine like it is. Focus color, that's fine like it is. Required asterisk, let's make that red. You can see that will change colors as well. Let's just keep it red. Now let's go to the button. Background color of the button. You can see right here, it changes as we change it. Let's make it, uh, we'll keep it blue. Let's change the text to white. Hover color, we'll make that, uh, how about red? And you can see, if we want hover color text you can see right there but I like the white so let's keep it white okay fields let's go to fields and label we've already done this on the global but you can change that as well right here but we'll keep that black and input is black and background the lighter color okay info messages success message color the message itself white and you can see that change up here at the top you see the right here where it's now it's red you can't really see it now it's yellow now it's blue let's just keep it white and background whatever color you want I like success message color to stay green but you can see it changing here let's keep it let's keep it uh, a little darker green how about that all right and error message color I always like that to be red but you can see once again if you want to change it there it is right there let's just keep that red and we'll make it a little darker red okay there we go now let's click define the options and let's make sure we're saving a, our work as we go and let's go to settings now if you want to redirect them to a thank you page and you can see there's our form name you can redirect right here whatever thank you page you want if you're using double opt-in so let's redirect but before we redirect we have to create the thank the thank you pages so let's do that right now so let's go to pages and add new I'll open that in a new tab we'll just add some new pages here thank and let's edit with Elementor okay settings right here we will hide the title and let's see I may have a template already set here let me look at my templates I have my okay let's just create one from scratch and we'll make the page height this vertical height we'll put it at a hundred and we'll click this plus button let's add some text and we'll center that text and we'll say thank you for and then what we want to do is have them confirm their email so let's add a text editor we'll click the Rubik's Cube let's add let's drag text editor right there and let's center that and let's change that to black and let's increase the font size we'll go to typography and let's choose our font I like Poppins font and let's make the size right here and we can the weight we can make that 600 <clears throat> now if we want to add an image we're good there let's grab an image and we'll drag it right under the please confirm and let's see if we have an image here and I'll insert media and let's make it a little bit smaller medium large and let's give it a little padding at the top 
so we'll go to the sections at the top let's add a little padding and we'll unlink there let's go top let's add 100 pixels and bottom let's make that 100 pixels as well so bottom okay and now let's change this font right here to thank you for subscribing and if you want to add let's make this poppins as well and if we want to add a text stroke or text shadow let's change the color right here we can make it let's say if we want a red and then we just drag this text you can see how it changes the font right there and then if we want to add a background color let's go to style let's click on the main section at the top and let's go to background and if you want to do a solid color or a gradient let's choose a gradient for now see how that looks and we can adjust accordingly let's see what the blue looks like and the red let's adjust that a little bit and you whatever how you like this <clears throat> okay location you can see we can change this right there if we want it linear or radial I do like the radial see watch this location radial you see how that blue stands out okay let's change this font to a white there we go and let's the text stroke let's eliminate the text stroke let's make it white and let's change this font to a white there we go okay let's save that let's take a look we'll click publish and let's have a look now if we want to change where these your header and footer do, does not appear then we can do that by changing the let's go here we'll click on the main page right there and we'll go to layout and we'll go to settings if we change this page layout to element or canvas you can see it will give that just a second and it'll come back and there's no header and footer so let's I like that all right so let's update okay there's our thank you page let's have a look and let's grab our link right here to this page and then what we'll do is we want to save this template as well so let's save as template and we'll call this ebook and let's click save okay we'll come back back to that in just a minute now let's go back to our redirect after submit on our form let's click that and let's paste in that link there it is right there there's our link okay now the we'll scroll down and under list options let's click on ebook and you can see right here we have double opt-in and it's going to say we'll, I'll show you the email we'll opt in and take a look okay now redirect after confirm so we got to create another page when they confirm their email it would redirect them to that page so let's go to pages and add let's add one more page I'll open that in a new tab and here we will simply use our form we'll call this thank you after confirm all right edit with Elementor and then all we have to do at this point is add our template and make a few minor adjustments and that page will be created okay once again let's go to our widget add a template and the template we just created let's insert that there's my template uh, ebook thank you after submit let's insert and apply okay now what we'll do is we'll change the text here thank you for confirming confirming your email your ebook should arrive shortly and please check your spam folder and let's change this image right here and we'll put our a picture of our ebook and let me upload one and if we want to adjust the size we can come over here to width and height under style make it a little bit bigger and there we go right there okay I like that let's save that okay now we'll have a look and let's grab our link right there and put that in our form all right, let's go back to our form here and under the redirect after confirm we'll paste that and now let's click save okay now 
we have created our thank you pages and our form and our list. Now what we have to do is create our initial email and then we'll come back and we will create the pop-up. So let's go to autoresponder. I'll open that in a new tab. We'll go to autoresponder and we want to add new. So let's click right here, new autoresponder. We'll call this ebook pop-up. Ebook pop-up. And we'll say allinone.com newsletter. And here is your free ebook. There we go. And we'll just pre header, we'll call it ebook. Okay, and then we'll come over here to delivery on the right, autoresponder. We want to send this immediately. I'll put zero minutes. <clears throat> and now let's design our initial email. So let's delete that. We don't want that element, so we'll put remove element right there. And if you want to add, we'll just your free ebook has arrived. And to access your free ebook, click here to download. Okay, now I've, I have that ebook saved in my media pages. So let's go to Media Library. I open that in a new tab. And as soon as that opens, here is our step by step ebook. So let's copy to clipboard the URL and we'll come back right here to access your free ebook. Let's highlight the click here. And we will paste our link right there. And we want to make sure that opens in a new tab. And now let's add, a, if you want to add an image, we can add a full size image, a half image, whatever we want to add, left side, right side. So let's add a image on the left. So let's drag that right there. And let's delete what we don't want. All I want is the image of the ebook. So let's delete all this excess right here and remove element. And now let's just grab our ebook. Click save. There we go. And if we want to change the background of the message itself, you can do that here. The contrast, if you want to change the link color, you can make that darker, whatever you want to do. Let's let's make that a little click here to download. Make that a nice blue. There we go. And then text color, you can change your text color. I like it black. Background color, if you want to change the background color, for instance, there's a red, an orange, a yellow, green. You can make it any color you wish. Let's make it a soft gray, which I like that right there. I'm going to delete this Twitter element. I am not that active on Twitter I'll delete and Facebook if you want to keep that in there your my Facebook link share this on Facebook just put in your Facebook profile name put it right there there we go we'll click Save so we're all good there now let's check the message so let's send a test message and receiver make sure we click ebook right here so let's send a test and we'll send it to our one of our email accounts we'll send a test okay now give that one second and we'll come and we'll check our email message see what it looks like okay here is our ebook right here so let's take a look at the message the all-in-one system here's your free ebook give that a second to load there it is right there your free ebook is arrived. Click here to download. Let's click that. And there is our ebook right there. Now, this is for the do it yourselfers. You can do this yourself, create this system. Just follow these steps. Okay, we like that. We're good there. So now let's go back and create our pop up.